What is up, everybody? It's your boy, No Risk, No Premium, and this is a Wolves exclusive. Ow! Oh. <laughs> All right, sorry. <clears throat> had a couple a couple cups of tea this afternoon, so I had some afternoon caffeine. I guess I probably shouldn't have. Um, but anyway, guys, wanted to give you a short, simple, sweet, to the point. How to set up your TOS. TOS. Um, to view not only your tickers, but your contract. So one thing I'll do, guys, this is my personal way I like to set up TOS when you come into it. Um, obviously, you can set it up any way you want. First thing you could do is put how many screens you want out here. You can have, I just have two, just like that. You could have 50. You know, you could have one. Okay, but I like two. Why do I like two? Okay, well, first off, I like two uh, because... This is how I said I fucked it all up for you guys. Okay, because first thing first, I can do this. Right, I think I had this just a tad more like so. Okay, uh, let's put this out. So that we can see. All right, so look. Um, why do I like it like this? Well, you can easily, easily what? See what? You can see the chart data. Okay, and now this is on ES right now, but you could also see the contract data. So what I'm going to teach you how to do is how to take contracts from the options chain, put them in a watch list, okay, that are accessibly or easily accessibly linked, right, to a a uh, its own active trader, right. So first thing you want to do is if you're setting it up like this, and guys, I will I will I can copy and paste my setup. And put it, and I'll put it in the title of the video to, or in the description, so you guys could just copy and paste it, and then you can mess with it how you'd like. Okay, it might be easier to do it that way. But look, I usually like it like this. Over here, you can put all of your core tickers. Okay, that I like. These are all the main core tickers. Here's all the futures contracts of everything I like to watch, right? And then all just the main core tickers that we all love to trade. Notice they're all just the regular big blue chip names mixed with a couple other more sentiment checky. If you see like AMC in there and GM, you just like see a means they're going crazy, et cetera. Okay. Um, but then underneath here, right, I have these other watch lists. I call them SPX calls, SPX puts. Why? Because I mainly trade SPX or SPY. Okay. So I, I, I actually have a devoted section. Now we love trading AMD. Justin kills AMD, AM daddy. So why not do this example for AMD? Okay. So let's say tomorrow, okay, let's say it's the night before you're doing your homework, like a good old wolf, right before you go to bed, watch the two-minute drill, okay, said your prayer, now you're going to put up your watch list, okay, really simple, you're going to go like this, you're going to go look, say, okay, what the hell is Justin saying we're doing here for tomorrow, you're like, well, you know, I'm thinking tomorrow we could really reject this daily high here, it could be 63.50, Right. Or and I'm just making shit up. Justin, don't kill me. Or I could long this level down here if we got down here, um, you know, the 57. So you're like, all right, cool. So I have areas of interest. Right. I can reject, uh, you know, 63. OK. And I could I could be a buyer down here at 57. You're like, all right, cool. So you're going to set up a call section and you're going to set up a put section. Mine say SPX. You put your AMD. You can put what the fuck you want. I don't care. OK. You go in here to trade. Okay, now you're in the trade tab. All right. And Justin's um, you know, I, I I'm pretty sure he buys weeklies. Uh, but you could buy monthlies, you could buy any any of them you want, right? But we'll go to the weeklies, okay? So look, you're gonna go like this. You're gonna look in here and go, all right. So what did we say? You could reject where you could reject three, um, you know, you could you could reject uh, you know, 60, 62s or whatever, right? So you're like, hmm. Okay, I'm going to know that if we reject 62s at the money right now, depending on where we open, you're like, huh, I'm going to put the 60 to, to 56 in my put column. Okay, because I don't know where we're going to open tomorrow. I'd rather just have a few. Plus, you can have a few different options. If one's a little more expensive than the other, you can have some options, right? So you're going, okay, so you're going to right click. Okay, remember, this is the put side, right? You're going to right click and you're going to go add two, add two. For me, it says SPX puts. Okay, but yours could say AMD puts, yours could say contracts puts, doesn't matter. Click, boom. See how it comes over here? Boom, puts it in there. AMD uh, for a November 11th expire $60 put. Then you just go and do that 
to all of them here, right? So you just want to put three in there. All right. And then you're like, oh, we can long 57. So I'm going to put 60, right? Go to the call side now. Do the same thing. 60, you go to SPX calls. You can call it whatever you want. You put these three on there, right? Okay. And now look, boom, your watch list is made, both sides. You've got AMD calls and AMD puts. Okay. Now this is the tricky part. Okay. This is the tricky part. Do you see where this is a little red one right here? Okay. Right here. And this is a little red one. Okay. That's because you can literally change and it's linked up. You can go and put them. Now this super trend is going to go crazy, uh, but you can put in any, any of them, any of them you want to try. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Easily done. So AMD. So wouldn't it make sense now you should come over here and do a different color to link them over here to the chart. Right. So we zoom this out. Okay. Um, so I just do yellow, right? So I have yellow linked here and just click it. Boom. Yellow, yellow, boom. Now you're in there. Cool. Now you're in there, right? Really simple. So now let's say the morning comes and you're trading on the 15 minute. All right. And boom, you're like, shit, we're all the way down here at this support. Like I'm just making shit up right now. You got the support. So you're like, shit, I'm going to look, we got, we're, we just held 59. Right, obviously, because it doesn't trade in the after hours, but I'm just, you know, just bear with me here. <laughs> okay, like, oh, shit, we held 59. We're going to go up. We're going to go up. You're like, shit, we're going up. I'm going to look at 62 calls. Okay. And now you have it set up on this, on this uh, ladder that we like to call it, right? You can see a ladder. So now look, you have the entire ladder where you, okay, can buy. How many, however many contracts, right? If you went over here, okay, it, all, it should already be set up here, okay? Um, quantity, how many contracts you want to buy? I mean, say you want to buy 10. It'll automatically put 10 in there. Maybe you only want to buy one, small account, okay? Want to buy 20, doesn't matter, okay? All these, right? So now, right? So now you just are like, I want to buy one contract here, okay? This contract where the gray is, where it shows the gray, that's where the contract closed, but that's the spot price or the mark price during the day. That's what the last contract traded at. This thing will update all day long, okay? It'll update all day long, right? So, and it'll move. It'll, you'll see buy and sells come in. Left side, bid side is the buy, okay? And the ask side is the sell side to sell. You see how it says sell? So you buy one here, and then you want to sell it at a higher amount, okay? You want to sell it at a higher amount. But this allows you to flip through contracts pretty easily, right? Pretty easily. Maybe I can go to on demand here for a sec. I really hope this doesn't fuck it up. I'll edit out the end of the video if it fucks this up. Okay, I'll, let me just close it down right here, and I'll, I'll put the on demand, which would be the, I think it's just the, you could go back in time and paper trade anything you want. Um, but look, so that's, that's the gist of it guys, right? You want two main, two main, um, uh, watch lists. One is going to be the core tickers, right? Or what you normally trade during the day. Okay. And then the other two are going to be calls and puts. You want to separate the calls and puts because you can see how literally they're separated by a PNC, like the actual, um, ticker of the contract. So it it's hard to, you know, on the fly and shit's moving fast. So just separate them. Just separate them, and you can never get it fucked up. You can't accidentally buy a call and buy a put because they're in the right place. Okay, okay. Then you link your charts with the main chart here. Okay, and then you link, right, your contracts with the active trader, and just it's just active trader. That's all it is. Active trader right here. I like to have time and sales in there. Okay, just to see who's buying while you're trying to get in, but you don't have to. Okay. Um, from here, one more step forward, you can do a flexible grid. And you could also have an active trader in here with also different time frames on the charts. I'll let you guys set that up. Okay. But just so you know, you can do that. Okay. You could come in here to trade and actually go to active trader and do that. Okay. So I like to set up the 5, 15, 30, and then I'll put the contract I'm looking. See, I'll have the yellow set to yellow and the red is all set to the same ticker in here. So now you got the 5, 15, and 30. Okay, and the contract, okay, and the contract in here. And you could do the active trader in here, and you could put a contract chart. You could do whatever you want. Okay, but let me see if I could just try to do this. Please don't fuck up. Okay, simulation. 
This is 636 today. If this fucks up and it takes a minute, I'm just going to end the video here. I want to see if I could show you how to buy and sell in real time. Okay, look, we got it. Oh, oh shit. This takes us back to AMD. Let's go to... Oh, let's go to here. Let's go to today. Today was what? November. Today was November the... Oh, we can go yesterday. Okay, yesterday works. Go. Okay, here we go. We're in. What do, oh, no, we're not in. What the hell is this? What date is this? November 7th. We are most definitely not at $120 on November 7th, 2022, right? That is not where we're at. We have the $61 calls. Hmm. Yeah, this got all screwy. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I could try to do an updated one, how to buy and sell just on during the market hours when things cool off, like maybe tomorrow or something. But yeah, you see how this is not how this should be. So you see, you could put your contract in here to buy. You you always want to have uh, put auto send on send. Okay, it bought me. Do you see that? Now it has these little yellow triggers. That's how you knew you bought. Okay. Oh, see, now it updated us. Now we're here. All right, what did I buy? A put? Nice. So now you're like, I'm going to come and put, you're like, I could see that it should be a sell here. Your auto send on. You're like, this should be a sell. I bought them in at 105. You're like, let's see, we should sell this at 120. So if you see when you want to sell, it also puts it on the chart where the, where it needs to reach in the chart as well. Do you guys all see that? So now I'm like, shit, I bought it at 105. Not the greatest entry, obviously, but maybe it's like one. Okay, now it's a little higher. Okay, maybe it'll come in and fill us. But do you see this gray mark? This shows us that we bought it at 105, and now it's trading at 106 as of right now. Someone bought it at 106. You see this? Time and sales, right? Time and sales right here. Somebody bought it at 106. So if this could keep on coming down, obviously this, this on demand is completely fucked. It takes forever um, to update anything <clears throat> uh oh see see how delayed that is but look oh is it gonna fill us oh oh 111 oh come on 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent come on baby make the amd daddy proud come on come on come on ten percent Ten <laughs> percent. I don't know if we're gonna get it. Anyway, guys, that's a short, quick video on how to do it. Um, basically, you set up two watch lists over here, right? You want to set up two screens here on your main screen. One is for all your tickers. One is for all your calls. The other one's for all your puts. Okay, if you're trading AMD with the AM Daddy, Mister Banks. Okay, I am no risk, no premium, but. We know who the AM daddy is. Um, then you'll know you can bank. But that's what he talks about, guys, when he says, have your contracts ready. If he gives you a huge rejection, come on, fill me, you bastard. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, he says, have your contracts ready over here, right? Have your contracts ready. And you'll know when you get to one of his levels, that's a reject or a bounce, that you'll take the trade that you know or the strike that's that's right for you. Fill me. Ah, fill me. Nice. Okay, so did you? I don't know if you're able to hear that, but it makes a little noise when it fills you too. No, I didn't want to sell that contract. I don't know why. So don't worry about that, guys. It sold me, but that it sold me naked. It it won't do that to you. <laughs> okay, uh, but it, uh, when I clicked that to sell, it took me out. It should have taken this one out too. Um, this is just the on-demand function, which is a little funky. Uh, but yes. Anyway, guys, um, if you have any questions, guys, drop them in the Discord. Okay, and I'll be happy to help them. Other than that, um, guys, get some sleep. Watch the two-minute drill. Get your levels right. Of course, don't do anything stupid. I'll see you bright and early. Peace.